Hey everyone, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what the limit is as x approaches 0 from the right of the natural logarithm of cosine of x divided by x. Now if we just let x approach 0 from the right, in the numerator we have the natural logarithm of cosine of 0, which is just equal to the natural logarithm of 1, which is equal to 0, and of course in the denominator we just have 0, so our limit is of the form 0 over 0, and in order to evaluate a limit of this form, we can use something called El Hopital's rule. El Hopital's rule basically says that if you have a limit as x approaches some value c of a function f of x divided by another function g of x, this limit is equal to the limit as x approaches c of the derivative of f of x divided by the derivative of g of x given that f and g are both differentiable at c and that they're of indeterminate form 0 over 0 or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity. That criteria is satisfied for this problem so we can go ahead and apply a Hopital's rule to it to try and solve it. Doing so we have the limit as x approaches 0 from the right. In order to take the derivative of the natural logarithm of cosine of x we're going to have to use the chain rule so we'll take the derivative of the outside part and then multiply it by the derivative of the inside part. The derivative of the natural logarithm of some function is just a 1 over that function and of course the derivative of cosine of x is just minus sine of x and the derivative of x is just 1. Now we can simplify this expression, doing so we have the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of a minus tangent of x because minus sine of x divided by cosine of x is just equal to minus tangent of x. Now, if we just plug in x is equal to 0, we just have minus tangent of 0, which is equal to 0. And that is the final answer to this problem. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this content useful. If you did, could you please make sure to like and subscribe as it really does help the channel out. And feel free to check out some of my other videos. They are full of very useful strategies for solving limits. I hope you have a great day.